Uh, first, I want to say, uh, don't forget, get your um, Pharmacy's Biggest Mistakes t-shirts. Um, I'll put a link to where you can buy the shirts in the video description below. And uh, part of the proceeds will go to support PUT. So don't forget to do that. I want to make this video about um, pharmacy metrics because I get a lot of emails and questions about them. And personally, I think pharmacy metrics are a good thing. They're a great way to see how well a pharmacy is performing. Um, they can catch any inefficiencies in the pharmacy. Um, they actually build some camaraderie because I know my staff and my pharmacists, um, they always like to look at the numbers to see how many scripts we did, how many flu shots did we meet our goal, and we met our goal, you know, we took pride in meeting our goal, you know. Pharmacists and pharmacy technicians, we like to get stuff done and, you know, having metrics um, to look at, it kind of gave, um, gave us a little boost to get everything done because we, you know, we like to meet our goal. But the problem I have with metrics is that uh, nine times out of ten, the reason why a pharmacy didn't meet metrics was due to understaffing. If they were appropriately staffed, they probably would have met whatever metric they were looking at, whether it's wait time, um, phone time, um, whatever other goals, there's tons of metrics. But uh, most of the time when they're not being met, it's due to the fact that there's not enough staffing. And, you know, for example, pharmacy wait time right a lot of times it's just a pharmacist and technician so if one pharmacist is busy answering the phone typing consultations giving immunizations and the other tech is bouncing back and forth from out window and drive through of course wait times aren't going to be at goal but if you're not going to give enough staff so that there's two technicians and one pharmacist what's the point of having these metrics I kind of only think the only reason why they still have these metrics is um, so they have a way to to punish and fire people. I think they're more of a for punitive reasons than anything else because I know they have to know that the stores don't have enough staff to actually meet some of these goals. But you know, if they don't like you or you don't do what they say or for whatever reason they want to get rid of you, your age, your salary, whatever, they can look at metrics and say, hey, uh, we can get rid of you because you didn't meet this metric or you're, you're failing to meet expectation on this and failing to meet expectations on that. And that's just not fair because like those metrics will keep you from getting a higher bonus. They will, you know, based off your evaluations, they'll keep you from moving up in corporate and they can even use those um you not meeting expectations when it comes to metric as a reason to, to terminate you. And what happens is is that now you, you create an atmosphere where people will do whatever it takes to just meet these metrics. You know, pharmacy phone calls, just marking things completely like you made the calls or you're attempted or phone wait times, you know, just picking up the phone and parking it so it looks like you answered it before the whatever the goal is, even though that's not what happened. Um, just whatever and the thing is I don't even think they really care because I remember one time my district manager came to the pharmacy to talk to me about phone wait time I think our goal was like two minutes but we were at two and a half minutes which me personally I thought that was great um, if you only wait two and a half minutes for how busy we were you were doing pretty good plus you know the average pharmacy customer takes three to four minutes um, before they even get to the point of why they called you so <laughs> um, two three minutes you're doing good but anyway um he's he comes in there and, and asks me why we're not at two minutes and you know i kind of explain you know one tech at drive through at all times one at out one at all times we have two techs filling um one tech bounces to the phone but it's usually just that one tech who bounces and me answering the phone and it's really hard because usually we always have to have two techs filling at one time and I'm trying to answer all the phone calls but like I said it takes customers at least three to four minutes to get to the point the average phone call is like five minutes in my opinion so it's just really difficult and you know he goes on to explain why we have that uh, metric why it's important to answer the phone how it makes the customers feel how it keeps customers from transferring you know stuff I already know so you know, I'm staying there. I'm hearing them. I'm not really listening because I'm trying to get some other stuff done. And and then he goes on to just say, well, you know, if you if you pick it up and park it, it doesn't count against you. So if you're busy 
just pick it up and park it and then that way you won't get dinged. Well, you know, if I'm picking up and parking it, yes, we're meeting the metric, but yet the far the patient is still going to be waiting the same amount of time. It's not, um, it's not, you, I don't think the patient really cares if they wait two and a half minutes without being parked versus waiting two and a half minutes, being on the phone for a minute and a half and being parked and then waiting another minute and a half. Like they, they still waited the same amount of time. So, um, they don't even really care. They just care that you meet the metric. So it's just, to me, it's just really stupid at this point to have metrics. And like I said, they only really use them. I think they only really keep them just um, for punitive reasons. Because if you're not going to give enough staff, what's the point in having these metrics? I know a lot of times I used to meet most of my metrics most of the time. And a lot of times when we have these pharmacy manager meetings, they would say, hey, Dr. Shaw, uh, give us some of your best practices. And I used to just go... Because a lot of times you're just doing things just to meet the metric. And it's probably not how they want you to do it. Like with pharmacy calls. We used to have like 70 pharmacy calls every day. You think I made all those calls? No. I marked them complete, but I didn't get them all done. <laughs> you know, a lot, even at the register, there's so many prompts at the register. 90 day, auto refill, this and that. You know, you're just clicking the stuff just to keep the district manager off your back. And, you know, that's probably not the best thing to do, but I'm just going to be honest to keep them off my back, uh, just to keep myself in a good standing because, you know, you don't want to get fired because it's a limited job market. It'd be hard to get another job. I'm going to do what I got to do to keep my job. And if that means clicking stuff complete, if that, you know, just pretend like I attempted to make phone calls, if that's clicking whatever the prompts at the register, 90 day auto refill, whatever, I'm going to do what I have to do. And I think a lot of people do that and there are some people who aren't going to do that if they don't make the phone calls they're not going to do it if they you know if they can't get to the phone they're not going to answer the phone and you know i applaud that and then you know they get fired and i don't think that that's fair that they're penalized or punished because they don't have enough staff in order to meet these metrics that these retail companies put for the pharmacy so like I said, that's my opinion on metrics. That's why I hate them. One, they already know we don't have enough staff to actually meet the metrics. So what's the point in having them? Two, they just really are forcing pharmacies and store managers to find ways to manipulate the system to meet the metrics. And three, they just really use them um, in a punitive manner to discipline people in a way to fire you for not meeting metrics if, if they decide they don't want you anymore. So that's kind of my opinion on metrics. Uh, let me know what you think about metrics. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please share and subscribe.